So this is just going to be a video where I go through a couple of practice problems involving uh, converting between units of pressure. So if you know how to do conversion factors really well, then this is probably going to be cake. So that's, that's pretty much the uh, important key right there. So let's start off with an easy one. So suppose I have a pressure of 35 torr, and I want to convert that 35 torr into millimeters of Hg. Well, just like any uh, conversion factor type problem, uh, we're going to put our 35 torr down, and I'm going to set up a conversion factor. And in this conversion factor, I'm going to divide by torr. That's going to be on the bottom. And the unit that I want is going to be millimeters of Hg. So I'm going to put that on the top. And this one's easy because, well, one millimeter of mercury is equal to one torr. They are equivalent. So our torr cancels. And we are left with nothing but good old uh, 35 millimeters of mercury. So that one was pretty easy. Uh, let's try uh, one that's uh, slightly harder. So suppose uh, instead of uh, converting it to millimeters of HD, suppose I wanted to convert the 35 torr into uh, atmosphere, so ATM. Well, uh, again, I start out with 35 torr, and I'm going to set up a conversion factor. This time, torr is still going to be on the bottom, and now ATM, atmospheres, is going to be on top. That's the unit that we want. And Recall that uh, for every one atmosphere, one atmosphere is equal to 760 torr. So that is the, uh, those are the two equivalent quantities that we're using now. Uh, our torr cancels out, and we are left with atmospheres. So it gives you around 0 0.046 atmospheres. So Let's do another one. Um, okay, so we, we have our, uh, let's just keep this uh, 0.046 atmospheres for a second. So suppose we have this uh, 0.046 atmospheres, and I want to convert that to, uh, let's say, pascals, or kilopascals, better yet. So 0.046 atmospheres, we want to convert that into kilopascals. So I start out with my uh, 0.046 atmospheres, and I'll set up a conversion factor. I'll put atmospheres on the bottom. And then I'll put pascals on, on top. And remember that there are uh, 101,325 pascals for every one atmosphere. It's a little small, but hopefully you can read it. It just says 101,325. So that's pascals, and then now we have to convert from pascals to kilopascals, uh, which is pretty easy. It's just a power of 10. So I'm going to put pascals on the bottom, and I'm going to put kilopascals on top. And one kilopascal is equal to 10 to the third, or 1,000 pascals. And we crunch the numbers, and we get 4.66. Uh, kilopascals, roughly. Um, once again, let's make sure our units cancel, ATMs cancel, pascals cancel. We're left with nothing but kilopascals, so it uh, so it all works out. So um, let's move on to one more problem that's going to be a little bit harder. Um, suppose we have, let's see, how about 500 pascals and we want to convert that 500 ca uh, pascals into let's say psi so remember that 500 pascals that's the same as saying 500 newtons per square meter because one pascal is equal to one newton per square meter and the psi that's just pounds per square inch so I'm going to rewrite that as pounds lb per square inch or inches squared. So really, uh, in t when we break the units down, this becomes a little bit easier. So now we can you know, come up with an approach uh, to get from the 500 uh, newtons per meter squared into a, uh, into a number in pounds per square inch. 
So we, just, we start out with our 500 uh, newtons per square meter. So I'm going to write that over here, 500 newtons. And our, our square meters are on the bottom, so I can just do this. I can just put them on the bottom like this. So we have 500 newtons per square meter and we need to convert that into pounds per square inch. So first I'm going to take care of the newtons part. I'm going to convert the newtons into pounds and then later I'll uh, convert the square meters into square inches. So we're trying to, once again, we're trying to convert uh, away from newtons and we're trying to convert to uh, pounds. So that means we're going to put newtons on the bottom and we're going to put uh, pounds on top. And the conversion uh, from newtons to pounds is one newton is equal to about 0 0.225 pounds. Okay, so that took care of the uh, newtons, but now we still have this uh, square meters on the bottom that we have to get rid of. So I'm going to set up another conversion factor, and in this one we're going to try to get rid of the uh, square meters and eventually get the uh, square inches. So I don't really know the conversion from square meters to square inches, but I know the conversion from uh, meters to centimeters, and I know the conversion from centimeters to inches, so maybe that'll help. So let's start by going from square meters to square centimeters. Remember, anytime you have, uh, well, first of all, our square meters are on the bottom, so we're gonna have to put them on the top in order to cancel them out, right? So I'm going to put meters on top, give myself a little room for the number, meters on top, and I'm going to put uh, centimeters on the bottom. And remember that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. However, since we're looking for meters squared, you see this only cancels out one unit of meters. We need, uh, we need square meters. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise this conversion factor to the second power. We're going to square both of these things. So we're going to square this one. We square the number and the unit. And we're going to square this one. Okay. And notice that if we uh, if we if we square out if if we uh, square this that will cancel with this uh, meter. The square meters will cancel and we'll, we'll be left with uh, square centimeters on the bottom. But the problem asks for square inches, not square centimeters. So we have to set up one final conversion factor. I think uh, we'll take care of this. So we have square centimeters and we need inches on the bottom. So I'm gonna use centimeters on top to cancel out with the centimeters that we just got. And then I'm gonna put inches on the bottom. And remember that there are, for every one inch, we have 2.5 four centimeters but again we we have square centimeters so uh, we're gonna have to square this conversion factor as well so I'm gonna square the 2.54 centimeters and I'm going to square the one inch that's an important thing about conversion factors anytime you have units that are raised to the power you have to raise both the number and the unit to the power not just the unit so uh, now it's just a matter of seeing if our units cancel out and we we're end up with we end up with uh, pounds per square inch. So it looks like newtons cancel out here. Uh, the meter squared cancels here and here. Um, the square centimeters cancels here and here, and we are left with uh, pounds and square inches. So our pounds are up here and our square inches are right here. So if you crunch the numbers all together, I think you will end up getting um, 0 0.0726, roughly, uh, pounds per uh, square inch, or uh, 0 0.0726 PSI. So that's the same thing. So there you go. There's just how to convert uh, between a couple of different uh, pressure units.